What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Sunshine. Sunshine is a 2007 sci-fi thriller film that was directed by Danny Boyle and was first requested to me by Lone Wander on my Event Horizon review that I released back on the 13th of October. Sunshine takes place in the year 2057 where a group of scientists and astronauts are sent on an extremely urgent mission. The sun is dying and the earth is freezing over, and the crew of the Icarus 2 are sent on a mission to drop a massive bomb within the sun to reignite. The Icarus 2's mission becomes increasingly difficult as they attempt to deal with a number of complications that jeopardize the mission and the rest of the film is spent watching the Icarus 2 crew attempt to deal with these super bizarre, strange, and difficult complications in the hopes that they can save the sun, the earth, and mankind itself. Okay, so I elected once again to not watch a trailer for Sunshine, which kind of seems to be the approach that I've been taking lately for most of these requests because there's a lot of fan-made trailers out there that tend to give away key plot details. So I went into Sunset Blind and I have to say, I just didn't really enjoy this one all that much. I think the biggest problem I have with Sunshine is that it reminds me a lot of a movie that I really hated called Event Horizon. Event Horizon was another request I received a while back that seems to be a cult classic kind of film for people nowadays. It may be my most disliked video because I really got into how much I hated that movie. I even got one particular comment that really went after me. So yeah, Event Horizon seems to have a pretty strong fan base and I seem to have pissed off the fans. And Lone Wanderer did tell me in their request that Event Horizon was one of their favorite movies and Sunshine was in the mix as well. So I really should have known that the movies would be pretty similar and trust me, they definitely are. I mean, the plot in Sunshine resembles the plot of Event Horizon in several ways and the whole time I couldn't help but make comparisons between the two. And more often than not, these are negative comparisons because to me, they're both bad movies that have crazy tonal shifts and identity struggles at various points. I think Sunshine gets interesting around the middle of the film because it's starts to force the characters to make difficult decisions about their fellow crewmates and the overall health of the mission. This is interesting because it's space drama. It takes a fantastic cast and puts those actors' characters into difficult predicaments that require intelligent decision making to ensure the mission to save the sun succeeds. The problem is during the last act, Sunshine completely abandons their compelling direction and trades it in for slasher nonsense. That was a big problem I had with Event Horizon as well because things just get so ridiculous and so out there that it's so incredibly difficult to stay immersed into the story. I think for a lot of people it's going to be impossible. And like I said, I knew nothing about this film coming in and I actually got excited during the opening moments of the movie because I saw just how loaded this cast is with talent. Let me just run through it real quick for you. Killian Murphy plays Robert Kappa, Chris Evans plays Mace, Rose Byrne plays Cassie, Cliff Curtis from Fear of the Walking Dead plays Surly, can't really remember how to pronounce his name correctly honestly, Benedict Wong from Doctor Strange plays Trey, and Hiroyuki Sonata from Life plays Kanita, the captain of the ship. I mean, this cast is exceptional, and when I saw them all on screen together in the early parts of the film, I thought to myself, there's no way a movie with this good a cast could be bad right? Wrong, because while these actors all deliver solid performances, their characters are bundles of nothingness. There's not one character in this film that I really felt attached to or really invested in for that matter. I tried, I was invested in the actors themselves, I guess, because I know and love them all, but their characters, there's just nothing of any substance with any of them. Technically though, I think Sunshine is actually pretty good. I think for a 2007 film, the visuals look pretty good. I'm not saying they look especially great in 2017, but judging the CGI on a 2007 scale, I'd say the film looks pretty good all things considered. I also think the score was really well composed. It was a joint composition by composer John Murphy and the band Underworld and I think the music in this film actually helped my experience quite a bit. It was unique and unsettling enough to at least give me some minimal investment in the story. The music does its job and then some but music alone can't make a film sadly. But overall Sunshine was not a great experience for me. Unless you loved Event Horizon I don't think Sunshine is the movie for you. I did think it had some good CGI for 2007 and a nicely composed score. Sadly, I also felt the characters were underdeveloped and boring, the tone is all over the place, the third act turns into pure ridiculousness, and the story itself is pretty boring. I'm gonna give Sunshine a 4.5 out of 10 and definitely recommend you pass on this one unless you loved Event Horizon and you're looking for a similar experience. So have you guys seen Sunshine yet? What did you think of it? And if not, let me know why not. And also let me know whether you enjoyed Event Horizon or not. That seems to be my most disliked review and I'm curious as to why people will disagree so strongly with my take. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next review.